Today it's the, the first day of the FDA Scientific Computing Days. It's a two-day uh, symposium where all of the divisions come together and present some of the work where they use scientific computing to solve some regulatory or scientific problems. This event is important because of the opportunity it provides for scientists to communicate to each other and thereby cross-fertilize ideas. It's just a phenomenal event, both in terms of the speakers, the keynote speakers, and in terms of the posters that are available, and then the opportunity for breakout sessions, which truly will provide an opportunity for people to be able to maybe develop our, op our collaborations, our sharing. And by doing collaborations, you don't have an additive efficiency, you have a multiplicative efficiency. Every time, after every conference like this, we start about five to ten different collaborations. Even if one out of ten produces a significant result and for the healthcare of people, that's great because that person whose health is going to be impacted because of this communication is going to be your child, your mother, somebody you love. So that's why it is important in science to get people connected. There, it's a very rare thing when you have all these scientists all in one room in one area where you can get to meet them, you can find out what they're doing and uh, share your experiences as well as how we can help each other. Um, at this point I'm going to tie back to my title which is like how can we as regulators skate towards where the puck is going. It's been a mantra that you know some industry greats, really creative thinkers like Steve Jobs, it was all predicated on this idea we need to understand the consumer, we need to understand the market, we need to understand where it's going, we need to make products that are going to match that. Kessler says patents not only describe a specific invention, you know, what they're doing and why they're doing it, but also it just broadly tells us in the industry's own words what they're capable of, what they're working towards. We can use it to understand trends and um, where, the, um, where the puck is going. That's how I tied it all back together. Uh, one of the things I'm also interested in is the vendor booths because it's interesting to see what uh, new technology the vendors are able to bring to FDA to help us with our mission. I'm Dr. John Green. I'm Senior Director of Bioinformatics for uh, CSRA Incorporated. Uh, today we're at the FDA Scientific Computing Days uh, where we have a booth in hopes of being able to support FDA in its regulatory mission. We have a white paper on precision medicine working with cancer for the National Cancer Institute. Um, where we support one of the cancer genomic cloud pilots that are currently running. We're partnered with the Institute for Systems Biology and Google. And it's the kind of thing we'd like to take forward into other agencies of the federal government, particularly within HHS, where the bulk of our business is. My name is Karen Davenport, and I'm from Los Alamos National Laboratory. My name is Paul Lee. I'm from Los Alamos National Lab. We're here to present Edge Bioinformatics as a platform available to biologists, microbiologists who don't have a lot of experience in bioinformatics, but this is a platform that allows them to answer complex questions with next generation sequencing data. I'm Patrick Jensen. I'm head of corporate research at a French software company called Dassault System, uh, and we had the, uh, the pleasure to have our CEO doing a keynote. On the I major idea I want to share with you today is that the virtual world is the source of imagination. So we believe that the future of extreme knowledge is experimentation in the virtual world because that's the shortest distance between human brain and the phenomenon. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, forum, first because the networking with the people that are basically framing uh, regulatory and scientific regulatory domains and decisions for the years to come. Yeah. And so we, we feel very privileged to be part of the FDA days and we want to be part of its mission. I would just encourage anybody that's uh, either in an office setting doing uh, science for FDA or scientific research or just applications that are scientific in nature to go ahead and attend and take a look at the different things that FDA is doing. This is an invaluable event because without this, you really don't have the opportunity to have at one spot in two days a full spectrum of the kinds of work that's going on in the other centers. 